FTC's Ecom Education Blog. My name is Chad Buckendall, and I'm the Director of Analytics at Landmite CRM. Today, I want to share with you some thoughts on a topic that is often controversial in our industry. It's one of those topics that I know some of you will agree with me on, and some of you will disagree. Rarely do I find consensus agreement on this topic, but the hope is that when the video is over, you'll have a stronger understanding of the subject. What is this controversial subject? How to calculate customer lifetime value. I'll cover three methods, including the one that we found to be the most accurate and recommend for our clients. Why is this controversial? Well, first, there are many ways to calculate CLTV, and the results you get can vary dramatically with each method. Second, no business is the same. This obviously complicates things when we're trying to use a single measurement to evaluate businesses with widely varying attributes. With that, let's jump into the topic. There are three different popular methods for calculating CLTV. Method one is the method we use to calculate CLTV at Limelight and is widely used by businesses that have high customer turnover or churn. This method leverages gross revenue and COGS to determine gross profit and divides that by the unique customers. A unique customer is most often identified by a unique email address. For example, if I have $1 million in gross revenue and COGS of $40,000, returning a gross profit of $960,000. I have 8,000 unique customers and therefore the CLTV is $120. It's a pretty straightforward calculation, but can be criticized for simplicity. Method two has been around a long time and is used quite a bit with several industries, but it's not widely accepted by the subscription industry because of its reliance on churn ratio. Churn ratio is a useful measurement, but the common argument is that churn ratio has no place in the CLTV calculation because it adds in variability to a measurement and ultimately muddies up the CLTV calculation. This method uses the recurring average order or RAO divided by the churn ratio. For example, let's say your RAO is $80 and your churn is 40%. This method is going to calculate your CLTV to be $200. So this method is also very straightforward, but like method one, it also is often criticized for being too simplistic. Method three is very popular. It is widely used across many different industries, but it's really meant for companies that are cross-selling throughout the customer life cycle. Let's run through this calculation. Once again, we start with RAO, multiply gross margin with an $80 RAO and a gross margin of 40%, we get a net RAO of $48. Then we consider a 40% churn and a discount rate of 0%. This method leverages growth rate to arrive at the same $120 of method one. So then we are comparing apples to apples as much as possible across all three methods. Growth rate refers to the customer's growth rate during the lifetime as a customer. If you're growing a customer's value over time, this is an important number inside of the CLTV calculation. The criticism of this method is that it is too complex and it leverages growth rate, which is speculative. It can water down the CLTV calculation. Now that we've reviewed all three methods, let's talk about why we use method one at Limelight and why we think this is the right approach for advertisers and subscription businesses. Method one is straightforward, and while it can be criticized for its simplicity, it gets praise for post-customer lifetime analysis accuracy, meaning that when we analyze customers after they have canceled, the calculation often proves to be more accurate. We have analyzed our entire global transaction database, millions of transactions over more than 10 years. And we still have found method one to be the most accurate method for calculating CLTV. 
my goal and Lime Life's goal is to stay on top of the industry and provide advertisers and e-commerce merchants the best analytics and revenue maximization tools for their businesses. My priority is to stay up to date on the best metrics and calculations. Specifically for CLTV, I'm always looking for various CLTV calculations and analyzing and considering their merit for Limelight's clients. So don't be surprised if in the future we offer multiple methods to calculate CLTV. Keeping a handle on all the data and metrics of your business is complex. Leveraging sophisticated and intelligent, but relevant analytics is how you can not only compete, but scale. If you've watched this video to this point, you've been bitten by the bug and are most likely a data junkie like me. This curiosity will serve you well. What do you think will happen if you can't get a quick handle on where your business is at at a moment's notice? I've been there and it's scary. It's a very scary thought. That's where a solid analytics package comes in. Whether you are using the solution that we developed at Limelight or you have your own homegrown BI solution. Stay curious and continue to fight the good fight. My goal and Limelight's goal is to equip our clients with the best features, integrations, and revenue maximization tools, and of course, analytics, to not only stay on top of the industry, but to help you succeed. That's why we continue to work hard to build a flexible and reliable CRM solution so you have all of the information you need to make the right decisions for your business. I'm Chad Buckendall, Director of Analytics at Limelight. I wish you the best of luck growing your business and achieving your dreams.